Hey there, it's Chris Acton with Acton Creative, and this is a hand-woven experience, episode 12. Up to this point, we've been talking a lot about the weaving process and all the details that go with. So I thought today we would chat about the people, weavers. Matter of fact, I've compiled a list for you. The five ways to recognize a weaver. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, there's a loom where the dining room table should be. See, once you get into weaving, the looms tend to kind of multiply like bunnies. Like while you're not looking, suddenly you've gone from one loom to six. So for a weaver, it's no big deal to have a loom where a bed should be or a dining room table. The rest of the world might think that was a little unusual, but for us, we're like, really? It's all meant to be space for looms. Number two, they're creative and methodical. I think weavers really tend to be a good balance of right brain and left brain. They like both color and pattern, and they're good with some math. It's this very interesting mix of both sides of the brain. So if you meet someone who loves to wear bright colors, they seem to be very, very creative, but they're also very step-by-step, -step, very detail-oriented. It's a potential weaver right there. Number three, they pet all the fabrics. If you've ever gone to a fabric store with a friend and they literally must touch every bolt of fabric they walk past, or you have that friend who, when you're wearing a new sweater, they come up to you and they're like, ooh, it looks so soft, can I pet you? Potential weaver. See, weavers are really tactile people. They get a lot of information from what they feel with their fingers. It tells them a lot about the fabric um, that they're working with or uh, what they want to work on. So, number four. I like to be all natural. I find weavers to be a very straightforward bunch of people. They call them like they see them. What you see is what you get. They're very much into um, how things are made, growing things, all that kind of good stuff. And they don't always feel the need to impress you with makeup or perfectly dyed hair, or some of those kind of things. They're good people. Number five. Oh, can you see that? They sport hand-woven goodies as often as possible. Weaving, it's not a quick process. So, once you finish something, so proud of it. Weavers are wearing it. They're wearing the handbag, they're wearing the scarf, they're wearing the wrap, all of that kind of stuff. And what's amazing about this group is they also will proudly display something that someone else has made. It doesn't have to be something they made. It's any, any woven item that they've picked up from friends, family, fellow weavers, whatever it is. They're proud to show their work. So that's my list for you, five ways you can recognize a weaver. And if you think, hmm, all of those apply to a friend of mine, she's not a weaver yet. Could be. That would be amazing. It's a small but mighty club and everyone is welcome. So if you got a little something out of this, you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or share. I'd love to hear from you. And if you wanna be the first to know when new videos come out, go ahead and hit subscribe. In the meantime, have a great week and happy weaving.